The scientific evidence says that eating pork does cause cancer. Pigs are scavengers by nature. This means that pigs will eat almost anything, including spoiled substances, feces, urine and even harmful growths. The pig's digestive system is actually incompetent for expelling these harmful poisons from the body. In fact, the pigs will process its nourishments in around 4 hours. Well, this amount of time is not enough to uproot the overload of toxins that were ingested. These harmful poisons are stored in the pig itself, especially in the fat cells and the pig's organs. And, some religions highly forbid the consumption of pork meat. According to their religion, this meat is considered to be unclean. To be honest with you, it appears that this religious sentence for pork consumption is actually true, because there are many medical experiments that can back this up. Regardless of your spiritual beliefs, there may be good reason to carefully consider your decision to include pork as a regular part of your diet, because despite advertising campaigns trying to paint pork as a healthy alternative to beef, research suggests it may be hazardous to your health on multiple levels. One of the most potentially acute hazards is contamination with pathogenic bacteria. According to a surprising new investigation by Consumer Reports 1% of all raw pork samples tested, nearly 200 samples in total, were contaminated with the dangerous bacteria Yersinia enterocolitica, which causes fever and gastrointestinal illness with diarrhea, vomiting, and stomach cramps. The pork also tested positive for other contaminants, including the controversial drug ractopamine, which is banned in many parts of the world, including China and Europe. The drug which was found in more than 20% of the samples, is used to boost growth in the animal while leaving the meat lean. Worst of all, many of the bacteria found in the pork were resistant to multiple antibiotics, making treatment, should you fall ill, all the more problematic and potentially lethal. According to the World Health Organization, processed meat like ham, bacon and sausage causes cancer. The International Agency for Research on Cancer actually classifies processed meat as a carcinogen, something that causes cancer. Researchers found that consuming 50 grams of processed meat each day, raises your risk of colorectal cancer by a very significant 18%. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, H1N1 and H3N2, are swine flu viruses, that are endemic among pig populations in the United States, and something that the industry deals with routinely. Outbreaks can occur year-round. H1N1 has been observed in pig populations since at least 1930, while H3N2 began in the United States around 1998. According to the CDC, swine flu has not been shown to be transmissible to people through eating properly handled and prepared pork. Properly prepared means cooking pork to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, which is supposed to kill all viruses and other foodborne pathogens. But, what if you consume pork from a pig that had influenza and it wasn't cooked to that temperature guideline? One of the biggest concerns with eating pork meat is trichinosis or trichinolosis. This is an infection that humans get from eating undercooked or uncooked pork that contains the larvae of the trichinella worm. A new report from the World Health Organization has concluded that there is clear scientific evidence that eating processed meat causes cancer. In particular, the WHO specifically mentioned processed pork products such as bacon, sausages and hot dogs. Of course, for those of us that have been investigating these things for a long time, this doesn't exactly come as a shock. The alternative health community has been talking about the evidence that pork causes cancer for decades, 